Georgina Walker. The 7th Annual Great Lakes Simcoe Ice Fishing Derby starts January the 23rd and runs until March the 6th. There's over $40,000 in cash and prizes up for grabs. Ice fishing has become rather popular over the last few years. Over 7,000 people tried out their luck and skill in last year's competition. The ice around Toronto may be very thin, but up here on Lake Simcoe, it's about 12 inches thick. That's enough to support an entire vehicle. Okay, admit it. Did you catch all those yourself? Not quite, no. No? Tell the truth and shame. <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to say that I had, but I didn't. But it uh, just shows you some of the catch that are, they're getting here yeah. today. And uh, it's it's quite a tourist event. We're really pleased with the uh, results that we're getting from the uh, the area up here. It's our main winter activity. And, and we're looking at probably in the neighborhood of uh, $2.5 million worth of, of spinoff when you consider all of the uh, ice fish uh, rentals, the uh, the hotel and motel accommodation, the food. Uh, the restaurants that are being used by the fishermen. Oh, is it ever hot in here? Yeah, it's too hot. Oh, oh, better go outside you'd you think it was a water. sauna, wouldn't you? No, no, we're up here. It's, it, we're ice fishing. <gasps> oh, oh, it's too cold. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> you figure if I keep doing this, I'll catch a fish like that? Yes, sir, you sure will. Sure. Yep. Now, why, why do you ice fish? Why do I ice fish? Well, because I love it, and I've done it ever since I was seven years old. Really? Yes. And, and uh, uh, this is my 50th year. Maybe we could chum the hole by throwing most minnows in there. there. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got one. You got one? Oh, oh, I got one too. Now, this is considered a residence, and it is legal to drink in these little huts. From Lake Simcoe, this is Greg Rist for Citywide. Cheers! Cheers.